Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, <clears throat> I will be doing your weekly reading for Capricorn for October 12th to the 18th. I want to apologize right away for any coughing fits, <laughs> okay? I, I'm really sorry for the delay. It's, yesterday was really bad. I was coughing a lot. Uh, so during all my other readings, I was coughing and I don't know, it's not great, you know, I should have thought about it before when I started to have a cold, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, I wanted you guys to have your reading, and I feel the energies, and I feel like I can read the cards anyway, so I uh, I have a cough drop, um, I might have a coughing fit, if I do, I'm just going to move away, go have a sip of water, have my coughing fit, and I'll be right back. So I want to thank you for your patience. I want to thank you for so much for being here, for your presence, for liking and sharing and um, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. So let's see what's going on for Capricorn for next week. What's going on for Capricorn? Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, this one wanted to come out. We have the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, this is Pentacles energy, Earth energy is you right here, feeling very stable. In the French version, what the one the first one that came out was the Emperor. And so it's pretty it's very similar energy here. Although one is more like Aries, um, and the other one, and this is more like you. Capricorn, Taurus, uh and Virgo. Okay. Messages for Capricorn. Aha! Uh -huh. This one came out as well. So some of you were stuck. I had such a hard time reading the French video at first. The cards were just not speaking. <laughs> oh boy. What a beautiful card here. We do have Gemini energy here with the Lovers card. Beautiful card, Lovers, guys. Wow, what's going on? Wow, Three of Cups. Some of you are entering into a really beautiful relationship. You felt stuck in something before. Um, maybe an energy that you were stuck in. Maybe you were afraid of moving forward into a new relationship or a new or the start of a new relationship. Some of you were may, maybe a little bit, um, yeah, fearful or wary that, you know, where it would take you. But this, you are going to have a great time with this person. It would be, it will be very much a celebrated relationship here. It's going to bring you a lot. It's, you're not going to feel this is, you're tired. You felt left out in the cold before maybe, or you had some, you could have had some financial issues as well, but tired of feeling left out in the cold. Tired of feeling abandoned and rejected. So with this person, no, it's not going to be. This is your energy. You're so worky, worky. You work, <laughs> Capricorn, Earth sign. So you're working on things right now, probably working on those feelings that made you feel abandoned, that made you feel stuck um, in the recent past, okay? And you have figured out a way, because you guys do that. You're so earthy. You're able to take care of yourselves emotionally in the sense that you're uh, not all up in your head so much as other signs. You're more earth. And so... When you work on something, you tend to really do it in a logical fashion. A more logical and concrete fashion. And you're working on that, or you have been, and you're getting out of that. Wow, so many pentacles. This is Taurus energy, so maybe someone of the sign of Taurus in your life right now. Or someone moving very slowly towards you, but moving towards you. Someone with an offer of stability. More stable here. Under the lover's card. 
okay? So this person is offering you, offering you more stability. You won't feel left out in the cold as much. It will be like more of a not unrequited, you know? Not unrequited love. Wish fulfillment here. This person is going, I'm telling you, it's going to be celebrated. It's just everything that you've been wanting. And I feel a coughing fit coming. So, give me a minute. I'll be right back. See? Sorry, I had to. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> wish fulfillment. This is a relationship that is going to be pretty positive. There's, like, I don't see any negativity happening. Um, it's hard to tell what could come of this. But all the cards are showing me that this is the way to go. Okay, with the Lover's card and the Three of Cups, you guys. It's like a celebrated love. This could be, this could even be marriage for some of you. Could be marriage, could be an engagement. Or like a real committed relationship. And with the wish fulfillment, if that's just, this is what you've been manifesting, it's coming. For sure. If it's not already there. Feels like for some it's there. We have the Eight of Cups. So again here we left a situation that was making us feel stuck. I love, this is one of my favorite Banksy cards. But it is, I think it's just like, yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. So leaving a situation which made you feel lovesick. You know, it made you feel, yeah, lovesick is the word that comes. There was a lot of turmoil in that, and you felt stuck and not able to get out of that, to come out of that. We have the two of wands. You're waiting. You don't know. What's the next step? What's the next step? Some of you didn't know what the next step was. And the next step, I bet you the card is gonna come out about this new, new relationship. Some of you left a situation for possibly another situation. And so a situation that was not it wasn't for you. It was hurting you. You were you were this. This was you. Okay? And then you didn't know which way to go. But you did the work. And I bet you. Huh. I knew it. We have the Queen of Cups. It's all about love. It's all about nurturing. It's all about emotions here. Okay? Um, this person that's coming towards you is wanting to really, really offer a more emotional... This person, although they may be earth sign, um, would like to come in with more emotion, okay? Like telling you how they feel more. Um, this could also, this energy could also be you. The Queen of Cups um, energy, which is you're ready. You're ready. You didn't think you were ready. You didn't know which way to go, but you're ready for love here. Your soul is telling you you're ready. Uh, you know, and we you're ready for a new stable. This is the eight of, Ace of Pentacles, a new stable relationship, a new stable beginning, something that's just offering you. What it is that you want, Capricorn, you always want stability. It's it's not anything that's new here. Stability is you. You're, you're earthy, you know, which is awesome. 
always looking for stability. Um, and you do have a lot of emotions as well, because if you didn't, you wouldn't have been stuck here, okay? But, but you did the right, you did the work, you did perfect work and were able to, are able to detach slowly from that old situation, okay? I just did my nails and I'm like I don't want to get like you know how when your nails are fresh you could kind of stain your other things I don't want to stain my cards okay let's see what other messages for Capricorn from here please for next week We've got the three of earth, so the three of pentacles building. Yep, this card was in the French video as well. And so building a good base, a good foundation for yourself. It's about that. With this person, you will be, this, this is what's going to happen. And with the three of wands, it's happening. This is your wish fulfillment. This is another wish fulfillment card. Look, your ship is coming in, <laughs> okay? You know, how clear can it be? Your ship is coming in, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing because your ship is coming in. Your wish fulfillment is at your doorstep, all right? It really is, you guys. You've got three and three. It's all about building, okay? All about building. Building a good foundation, New passion here. Everything that you've wanted. You're manifesting it. Guys, you have to trust in divine timing. Yeah, I'm telling you. October 12th to the 18th. If it doesn't happen in that week, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay? You have to trust in divine timing, doing it in the right way. It's not in the way that you want, Capricorn, necessarily. Not in the time that you want, necessarily, because things have to be aligned. In the universe, that's their job, working to align things that you asked for. And it might not be in the way, you know, in the way that you think. Okay, one last oracle card to see the overall energy for you. And we have regeneration. So getting rid of the old stuff, like I said, you're, you've worked <coughs> to come out of it. And look at your new roots right here, just new energy here. Okay, so not knowing where to go, your next step. You've already taken it, you guys. You've done the work or you're doing the work and it, you're coming out of this and making room for this, okay? Try to stay in this energy, not in this one. So that is the overall energy and these are all the messages for you, Capricorn, for this week. I wish you a great week. Thank you so much for being there. Again, I apologize for the coughing fit. Um, I promise there won't be another coughing fit after this. <laughs> okay, so I'll be back soon for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.